Hello, everybody. It is I, the Willowigi Big Mac, and I'm back! This time, with the whole new kind of setup here going on. Separate audio tracks, separate, separate uh, game audio. This is going to be great. Anyway, it's October. It's the spooky month. Let's play Luigi's Mansion. So, Luigi's Mansion is probably one of my favorite GameCube games. Played a bunch growing up. Kind of know what's going on. Per usual, and I'm emulating it because I do not have a capture card. So, if you see any uh, visual bugs, then that's just the emulator being stupid and not the game. So, the story here with Luigi's Mansion is that Luigi somehow won a mansion in a contest he didn't even enter. I don't know how Luigi isn't even seeing any red flags there, but whatever. So, so here he is. And honestly, this game, uh, for launch for a GameCube launch uh, title, Hello? it's, honestly, it's still really, it's still really good. And the fact this, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of those games that Nintendo was toying 3D with. Like they originally were supposed to have, the GameCube was originally was able to, to support uh, like stereoscopic uh, 3D, and that later became a thing with the uh, mm -hmm. Dark Moon and eventually the uh, the re-release of this game for the 3DS. So anyway, your controls, you you can just move around like this. Uh, uh, left stick controls Luigi. Uh, right stick uh, controls uh, the way he's facing. Uh, the short button still do nothing right now, but that'll become a thing later. The B button turns off the flashlight. You can mm -hmm. his, uh, look at me. I'm a toxic Dead by Daylight player. Mario. And then A is to call Mario. Apparently Mario's missing. Is it, this ain't the first time this has happened. Oh, locked door. Anyone there? Gee, I don't know. There seems like something's. Uh, ooh, ooh. Spook. It is spooky. It's a floating. It's a floating key. Up. Oh, never mind. Where's that arch fart going? Well, we have a key now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. So, what can you do with the key? Well, only one thing you can do with a key. Open the door. So, let's do that. So, uh, so for these uh, door cuts, uh, cut seats of the Luigi trying to open the door, I'm only going to show them once. I mean, y'all don't really need to see them once. Hmm. Anyway, cutscene time. Oh, don't, don't be a baby, Luigi. Woo! Spooky! Yep. Who's this? Who's this? Well, I don't know. But he's kind of a very bad Ghostbuster. Punch. Well. That's that. Ouch. Oof, I, I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this looks ugly. Alright, youngster. Look lively. Follow me post-haste. Oh god, my eyes are burning. Yikes. Of course, today's the day my eyes decide to burn. Anyway, so your name's Luigi. I think our path, we're destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Where's this, you ask? Why, this, why these cold sea quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gads goes research laboratory. The lab, if you, uh, if you're of a shortened mind. You want this mansion in a contest he didn't even enter? Well, well, there's the plot point. 
Sounds pretty fishy to me. Well, at least... <laughs> cool. At least he gets all the red flag there. So, you believe that the mansion actually exists? That's strange. I've been li living here since I was uh, a, a lad of 20 or so, and... And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. Magic! The spirit has fooled you. Oh, God. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all. But surely, but surely wouldn't be too happy when in a haunted house. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, I, if I want a haunted house, I mean, I, I, I would probably take it out. Like, I mean, the ghosts are probably not going to do much to me. They're probably just going to knock a few things over, trying to be, ooh, spooky, and I'm just going to stand there looking like, just all confused, or like, just kind of brush it off, like, yeah, that, that kind of happened. Now, now that I get a look at you, I just recall a guy with the red hat, kind of, of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. Well, well, Mario's dead. He wouldn't stand a chance against those skills without my help. You have to go after him. Well, I mean, to be fair, Mario and Luigi did technically uh, go up against Boo, so I mean, I'm sure Mario's fine. Although, although I guess those ghosts did punch punch an old man, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Here's the plan. I'll teach you how to deal with ghosts, so you can rescue your brother. You can, so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Alrighty, so, yep, so here's all the controls. So, once we, now we have the, uh, the Polter, the Polter Gust uh, 3000. And yes, I am well aware that, that the, uh, the name of the vacuum is a pun on Poltergeist. Uh, anyway, so, L is how you do the sucky sucky, and, and L is how you, uh, well, burn. Kill. That sort of thing. And, and, if we were to stand on the screen, like, stand on the screen for, like, about four minutes, uh, Tokata song plays, and if you don't know what Tokata song is, basically, uh, uh Tokata is, uh, one of the dudes at Nintendo that does music, and he's, he's basically one of the, uh, the mus one of the, uh, composers for the games, and for a good chunk of the games that he works on, uh, he, uh, he'll put in a secret tune, uh, that people like to call Tokata song. He's also the voice of Yoshi, so, <laughs> they're sad. <laughs> That vacuum cleaner I engineered, I, that's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergeist 3000. It can suck all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button, the vacuum, and the C stick to change your direction. There we go. No matter how strong you think your brother is, Ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be called using con conventional means. Yeah, you need to use technology. <laughs> so you better use this. It's the only way to boil them. Uh, this is the only thing they fear. Ah, uh, yes, a vacuum cleaner. Or something to that effect. <coughs> well, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem like the darkness, and they avoid the light. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. So if you so if you hit if you so if you hit him with a flashlight beam, of, all of a sudden you can stun him momentarily, and then that's how you uh, vacuum them. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. All right. Yep. Remember, as you see, you see the a uh, ghost hard. That's that's your chance backing him up. Yeah. So basically, the trick here, uh, the easiest way to catch ghosts is to get up to them, shine, uh, hold B to turn off the light, get close to them, shine the light, uh, press R, and then just rock the stick as back like fast as possible. That's how you drain their health. And I kind of and and I am kind of cheating here. I am using the Xbox controller since I don't have my GameCube controller with me. Uh, if I, had my, if I had my GameCube controller, I would have been using that since that's what I'm used to, but this will also work. When, when that surprise ghost heart appears, a uh, vacuum is with the R button. Yep, yep, yeah, I get it, I get it. There we go. <laughs> yep, yes. 
Yep, yep, I get it, I get it. Here they come. They're ready. Whoop. Here they come. And, and you can actually catch multiple at the same time, like this. So, honestly, I think I only missed one there. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the pulse of the tree cells as a team. You get me, young, young filler? That'll do. Well, let me take a guess. Yowzers! Eight ghosts! Go get those ghosts, Luigi. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go to the gallery. So, this is the gallery. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite painting. Nothing. So, as you may see here, uh, the gallery here is pretty mi minimalist, don't you think? Uh, let's go talk to Egad then. Well, actually, first let's do, let's press this button. Uh, when you press the X button, you get the uh, you get the Game Boy Horror. This allows you to kind of just uh, search around, and also uh, up and down is inverted. So down it goes up, and up goes down. That jazz. It's a statue, a very tall angel statue, by the looks of it. Let's get let's get Egad. Way to go, genius! Do you have the hang of that thing yet? Uh, let's see, what does... It does nothing... Okay. Well, let's go talk to Egad. Are you not appreciating art for <laughs> Luigi? Ah, uh, yes. What, what is there for me to appreciate? The statues? Where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Of ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings. And I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, those gl uh, glamorous, uh, I tell you. Well, then, now that I have to tell you no, a horrifying story. Uh, the last ghost that I caught was number 22, Bulosis. Uh, but there was a lot of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. Uh, they used my machine to free Bulosis from, from the painting, and then they went to turn all my other portraits uh, back to the ghost too. As if that weren't enough, they put a mansion right in front of my lab in the space of a single night. And then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else this stuff, they probably... Uh, have me committed. I'm sure my po portrait ghost or somewhere inside that mansion. I just have to get him back. Yep, so that's basically the gist of what happened here. Uh, what's a Game Boy Horror? I'd sign the Game Boy Horror as a communication terminal. It, it has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the C button to see the list of the items you picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of, of course you'll be able to see portrait ghosts that are once you capture some. And the white button displays a map. Oh yeah! Alrighty, and then, uh... And... Let's go back to the lab. Oh boy, that's a lot of... That's a lot of talking. Let's go to the mansion now. <laughs> you guys probably thinking, uh, uh... Have fun! Don't die out there! There we go, there we go. Oh! As much as I want to do the, do the toad, toad voice, I'll spare everyone watching the video. Boo hoo hoo, where did Mario go? Wah wah. Huh? Uh, Luigi? Wow, wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it, oh joy. Thank goodness. Me, well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that he won a mansion, and, and he never returned. The then I arrived, the mansion was full of ghosts. I didn't see Mario anymore. Anywhere. I kinda freaked out a little and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. I mean, that's what Luigi's here for the first place, so, uh. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Yep, leave it to me. Hey, okay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. And we cleared our first room, technically. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Toad is where you save at. Talk, talk to me for how many time. And whoop, there's the uh, there's a file thing for uh, dolphin. Anyway, so we have the. Uh... So yeah, basically, uh... 
we can explore the mansion now. Uh, there's some coins and stuff. Uh, okay, nothing there. Let's just let's just suck up all the coins. And let's just go through the first room. Oh yeah. Already anything here? Hey. Also, this is this is a Mario game that actually has real like that actually has like actual uh, dollars here. Uh, interesting, interesting thing. Uh, another. Uh, there's, uh, honestly, there's a lot of, uh, cut content in this game, man. I think, oh, uh, that's a poison mushroom. Uh, you get hit by it, you shrink, and you lose money. So, it's, I think it's best to avoid that. Oh, wait. I wonder what happens when we do this. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lightgreen. Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here. Yes. They love the dark, and now they don't get you. Please. <laughs> Now you're in for it. <laughs> Just like the little red cat before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Huh? Blah! <laughs> Here they are. Ghost. They ain't afraid of no ghost. Let me at him. Nice, nice shot, pal. You missed. All right. Normally, there's like one more we have to do. Hello. There you are. So, orange ghosts, basically, basically, they are the most basic ghosts you can, uh, you probably have to deal with. Uh, basically, all they do is punch. As long as you move out of the way with a uh, lunge forward to punch you, and you're not gonna get hit. So, yep, that's that. Uh, let's check these. Normally, uh, okay, that. Sometimes oh, the ceiling, yeah. or the, uh, the chandeliers might have stuff. So. Uh -huh. oh, Perfect. Uh -huh. Well, let's go in, let's go in there. And, well, here's the entire mansion. It, there is four levels. The basement, the first floor, second floor, and the third floor. We are currently on the second floor, so uh -huh. let's just open this door. Whoa! <laughs> Ready. Where? Yep. Uh, now we're gonna see new ghosts here. There we are. Pink ghosts. These guys have double the health, and they also do the same thing. They, they just kind of punch you. Ooh, wow, that's the first. Wow. That's what you get for trying to escape me, pal. <laughs> There we go, let's, let's kill, let's kill two birds with one stone here. And then, uh, we're gonna kill the, the pink ghost, maybe? There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go, yep. Yeah, honestly, the pink and orange ghosts are kind of a joke. They're, they aren't really that bad. Alrighty. Ooh, go far. Uh, anything here? Nope. Okay, nothing there. Check there. Uh, another health. So, so health in this game you get, uh, you you grab from uh, from hearts. The uh, uh, you have 100 health, and there's like two areas in the game that actually gives you a big heart that heals like 75 mm -hmm. of your health. Like really good stuff. The first there. Uh... Oh, I missed. I missed the. Blue ghost there. The blue ghost, if you catch it, gives you a lot of money. It's always, it's always going to have to try and catch these guys. But unfortunately, I missed because, because, uh, because another ghost showed up. And now, here we have the Danny DeVito ghost. Because he's the trash man. Uh, canonically, I'm pretty sure this ghost is actually literally called. Canonically, I'm pretty sure this ghost is called the trash man ghost. And basically what they do, they'll eat a banana, drop a banana peel, and hope you slip on it. Yeah, so basically, if you slip on a banana peel, you just kind of slip, and, 
you uh, fall your bum and you get hurt. Honestly, I probably should have waited to clear all the ghosts here and then open that one to get the blue ghost. But uh, uh but I, I now have a chance. I now have another chance to get it. Uh, let's see, I believe there's one in here. Nope. We just have money here. That means you must be in here. What do you expect to happen there, pal? And the key is up here. To get, to get the key, you just kind of have to do that. There we go. And then we have access to over there. Let's see. I'm going to do a time check on the episode. Oh, I have time. Hmm? They're ready. And, oh, hey, look, it's Toad. Wah, wah, Mario, where are you? Wah. Uh, Luigi. Yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Please, 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 save Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Yep. Yep, Toads. Mm -hmm. Toads are just kind of cowards. I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, let's... Well, let's see if that new room, uh... Uh... You had a heart. Uh, what's what you thinking here? Oh, yep, there was a chandelier here. Okay. Okay, they both have, uh... Hearts. And also, yeah, in between rooms, uh, stuff can actually stay. Mm -hmm. So that's actually kind of a unique, uh, that's actually kind of unique. Mario. Nothing there. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you know, let's start, uh, let's start, let's... Yep, there we go. Let's, uh, let's get all the money here. All right, there we go. We got everything. 35 coins, 55 dollars, one gold bar. Also, the uh, the ringtone uh, for the Game Boy Horror is Luigi's Mansion theme. Hmm. Luigi. Hmm. Hold up a second, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've seen looking ahead. I think it might be some of those escape gallery ghosts. You should note that they really differ from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. So yeah. So basically, if you if you scan their hearts, you can basically have a... It'll give you a clue. Sometimes they're kind of nonsense. Also... It, it, it is leading us to that door, however... That door's a fake. Let's zoom in here. Where Luigi's standing in front of is a wall. So that's a fake door. The real door we have to go through is right here. And then, first, first thing first, uh, there's something we have to, uh... Ouch. You know what, let's... You know, let's get, let's get all the things, uh, off here. I forgot there was a, I forgot there was a, there was a ghost here. Get back. Oh man. I didn't even realize there was a ghost there at that door. I, I think I must have forgotten about that. Uh, let's try and get, let's try and get the, uh, cheese. There we go. There we go. Well, at least at least we get one thing. We can, we can get the other ghosts later. It's kind of unfortunate that, that we missed both of them, but hey, it, but hey, who knows? You guys can probably do better than me. Yeah, so we took some damage from the book there. Okay, get some more coins there, and then uh, you know let's let's try and let's try and uh, deal with the uh, Mr. Nigel Thor Thornberry over there. Oh, damn it! I I didn't I didn't think I could just go up to him and just uh start fucking him. Hey, there we go. Hey, 
Hey, there we go. We got, yeah, so if you, so if you get at least 75% of the ghost health down, you get one uh, large pearl, hmm. which is worth a lot. And you, you can, but normally you can get up at least two, four small pearls and uh, four medium pearls. If you're well enough. Alright, so we have the next room uh, to head to. Uh, let's just make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, again, this sucks that I missed the, uh, the ghost there. I didn't even realize uh, there was ghosts there. Uh, let's just grab all these dollars here. There we go, there we go. Alright. Uh, this right here is another fake door. This is the real door we have to go to. Uh, now this one is very is also very easy to deal with. Hey, it's Toad. Oh dear, such a draft. There we go. There's no guarantee I'll probably get this one pretty easily. Air mushroom. Never mind. I guess. I guess. I guess sitting in the corner help. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, oh, we have plenty of time. But cool. You want, you'll call me crazy, but I think we can probably clear the first area of this game in one episode. Uh, th unfortunately, that wouldn't be uh the same. That would be the same for the next uh, episodes, but uh, let's let's just uh, let's let's just leave the room real quick. There's normally money up here. See, told you. Already, bonk bonk. Heart there. Actually, you know what? I should probably, I should probably get the, I should probably get the health. Bonk, bonk. Money. We need to get money. Hmm. They're ready. Huh. Well, first, before we get over there. Let's avoid these rats. Grab the singular coin that I somehow missed. And go in here. Alrighty. So, how do we get this ghost out? Well, we rock the, uh, the rocking horse. Oh no, the baby has no head. Alrighty. Oh, bonk. Ow, you give me now. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown ups. What up? Why do you have to be bigger than me? I had enough. Small, grow smaller, small, itty tiny, little wee, gaga, gaga, goo goo ka. Okay, since, since, when, since when is the baby intelligent? Uh oh. Now we have to deal with a bunch of rocket horses. And a big baby. You know, as a kid, that uh, the, when the baby's doing that, it always scared me. I just didn't like the face. Oh, oh, and he has, oh, and he has a double hearing. Okay. So, this is the first false battle of the game. Honestly, it's pretty simple. You just kind of dodge a, a bunch of rocket horses. Kind of like that. Uh, then maybe it's just maybe it's just going to spawn uh, a bunch of balls. Uh, and then one of them will stay. You bonk them. And then you just... And then you, you, you try sucking up as much. Unfortunately... Well, hold up. 
First the baby has to, first the baby has to do the worm. There we go. Look at the baby go, he's doing the worm. But yeah, the bosses is gonna take a while for you to get all of them. Mainly just mainly because uh they're they're a stronger ghost, so they just kinda have to uh you know. They just take they just take a, a while. Alright, can you stop that? Brush your teeth, it's bedtime. Alright, there we go. There we, we got we got we got a bunch of help off. Now the baby's gonna do the worm again. There we go. Yep. Baby's yeah, the only I think the only RNG part of this battle is, is when all the uh is when all the bouncy balls are coming down. And now the horses are faster. Uh yep, yep. You're just gonna have to bait them. And then this one they just do that. Yeah, yeah, so like the balls are just gonna bounce everywhere. Woo! There, there's the ball. Okay, okay, can you stop doing that? God! One health. One health. Well, well, the baby has to do the worm one last time. For the, we have to wait for the balls to, to start bouncing around. And do not take that out of context. Okay, balls over there. And that's pretty much the game. You know what, let's see if we, if we can do this trick. There we go. So, if you ever seen the speedrun for this game, uh, you do. You basically play through the. You basically play through uh, the first part of the game as normal. Mm -hmm. But then once you beat Chauncey, which was the baby there, you have to hold upright to get behind this chest, and then you can clip through the wall there. Of course, I'm not going to do that because that's kind of a dumb idea for me. What you need to do. Uh, let me just let me just let me just get a few uh, get a few things here. Uh, this is the one area you can actually get the uh, one of two areas you can get a big part at, and it heals a lot of health. Really useful. You always want to make sure to come here. And then, well, we got we got our first area key. Well, let's see what you got. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness, you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. That was a tad worry. You seem, uh, seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you, why don't you come back to your lap? When you vacuum my balls goes, your poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to, bur to bursting. But oh, -ho, I guess I, I guess you showed that, that balls goes who's boss. Uh, speaking of full to bursting, uh, one of the one of the thing one of the mechanics that, was, that got scrapped over this game is that uh, is that if you use your if you use the poltergeist too much, it'll actually just flat out explode. I'm kind of glad they took that out because that would make things, because that would make dealing with the uh, with portrait ghost way harder than it should have. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. I mean, we kind of, I mean, most of the rooms are well lit, so we don't want dealing ghosts. We had to really worry about where the, the mice, but eh, whatever. Go off. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the ghost portrait. The ghost portrificationize. Whatever, the the thing. This machine lets us turn ghost and catch it to paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse too. How do we use it? Yes, well, simply just just plug that Poltergeist Ghost 3000 into this slot. Enjoy the ride, my boy. 
cutscenes, though. Every time you beat an area, you get you get to see this lovely cutscene. Unfortunately, I cannot skip it. So there's that. Now, one thing I should mention, depending on depending on how well uh, you fight the ghost depends on portrait. For port for regular portrait mode, it depends on depends on the amount of pearls you get. For boss ghost, it depends on how much health you ended. You how much how much health you ended on when you finally beat the boss battle. Now, considering we now considering we didn't get hit at all for the boss battle, and and somehow. Got both portrait ghosts without needing, uh, without uh, having to get them a second try. Uh, we, uh, yabba, yabba. We, everything got gold. We got got gold frames, which means we got the best versions of those portraits. But well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. We got ner we got we got Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. We, we told we, ah, we only call three ghosts. All, all those orange, all, all those orange and pink ghosts, and the, and the, and the Danny DeVito ghosts. Nah, they were they were just nothing. But we got three ghosts. Hey, that's something. And money in this game is ridiculous. I mean, like twenty, like uh, two million four four hundred thousand. That is a lot. So in total, we got seven million gold. We are a million. Wow, guys, we're a million there now. And yep, we can save. However, with that, I think that's I think that's the end of the episode. So uh if you guys if you guys enjoy the episode, it would be I would I would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. And comment on the video and whatever cliche YouTuber stuff I can throw in here. And we'll see you next time when we venture back into the uh the mansion to maybe see where that pink key goes. Until then, later. <laughs>